Hey everyone, so in the previous video, I showed you how we can cut off a branch in the nested sets tree model. And in this video, I'll show you how we can remove one node and uplift all of its descendancies one level up. Then fix the whole tree to make it a nested sets, uh, a valid nested sets model. Of course, there is in the description, you can find a link to the code and link to the playlist and link to useful resources. And we will do the same thing we did in the previous videos. I will start by a valid nested sets like example. I will show you how we apply the algorithm. I wrote it down here. This, this exists in the repo as well. So I will start by delete. I'll, I will show you the rules by deleting this node. So the rules are these. Find the, find the nodes left and right values. This should be, we will create a stored procedure that accepts the nodes ID that we want to delete. We just query that and find the left and right values. I'll just copy this and put it here and I will color it with this color. Now, the first thing we need to do is to update the children and the children's or the, the all of its descendancies left and right values. And the way we do it, we update the right values in the tree to be right minus one and left minus one where their left is between the deleted nodes left and right. So basically we say update in this tree where the nodes value is between the deleted node left and right um, to be equal left equal left minus one and right equal right minus one. So basically we deleted this. This is the first thing we do. Now we have this in memory um, because we store the left and right values in variables. We go and update all of its descendancies and decrease their left and right values by one. So this would be two. Now this will be three, four, five, six, seven. If you think about it, this means we uplift them one level up so this is updating the descendancies. Now we need to fix the left and right values to, for the other nodes. And this should be straightforward. So update the right values in the tree to be right minus two, where their right is bigger than the deleted nodes right. So the nodes deleted right is nine. We go in the whole tree, search for the nodes where their right is bigger than, than nine and decrease that by two. So this will be 12. 11 10 and we do the same thing for the left values we decrease them by two where the left is bigger than the deleted nodes right we're still working on the right values in the right value with the right value <laughs> sorry um, so we search the holy tree where the left values are bigger than the deleted node right value and this one is bigger it's 10 so we decrease that by 2 this is 8 and this is 9 now the whole tree is actually looking like this uh, of course these lines don't exist in the database this is just how we visualize it the whole thing is like these things are not even connected with a foreign key in mysql or in postgres uh, but these lines like i do them just to make this easier for our brains to understand it or to visualize it but the, there is no these lines does not even exist um, the way we link them is by using the left and right values but this is how the tree looks like after you delete this node and uplift all of the child all of its descendancies one level up um, I, w I thought about showing you a different example and i think this one is good enough example but i think i will work on this uh, big tree and we created this big tree big tree from scratch in the first video now here i'm going to delete this node so let's apply the rules again okay i think you can see it and i hope my face didn't cover everything in the previous uh, example if that happened i will just re-record it but anyway um yeah so i'm going to delete this node uh, I found it by the ID of the node, so I'm going to delete it now. 
now the thing i need to do is to fix all of its descendancies left and right and update that or decrease them by one for both values and the way you do it you do delete from nodes where left sorry you say update nodes set right equal right minus one and left equal left minus one where left is between the deleted nodes left and right uh, and this we are filtering by the tree id because in the same table we are storing multiple trees and all of these the same tree the same nodes under the tree share the same tree id this is how we distinguish or differentiate which node belongs to which tree now we do we update all of the descendancies by doing uh left minus one and right minus one so this should be two 11 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this means we uplift them by one level now we go search the whole tree for right values that are bigger than the deleted node right value which is 13 and decrease them by 2 this will be 24 15 14 23 18 22 21 now we go search the tree where the left value is bigger than the deleted node right value and decrease them by two this applies to this one so this is 12 this will be 13 this will be 16 this will be 17 this will be 19 this will be 20 and the tree now looks like this and that's a valid nested sets uh, model so yeah, that's the whole idea behind it. I will walk you now through the code. Um, I realize now I made a, like a type or like a mistake in the comments. I will fix everything. The code should be ready so you can just copy paste it and uh, work with it. So this, the first query, and I'm using stored procedures so I can put all of this in a single transaction. That's the whole idea behind, like that's one use case for stored procedures. You can run multiple queries in a single transactions, transaction. Uh, so I'm selecting the node, the, the node I'm going to delete, left and right values, and the tree ID, so I can filter by it in every query. And, and then, then I'm deleting that node. That's a simple thing. Uh, yeah, you can delete it by the left node. I'm not sure why I did this. You can also delete it by the node ID, where ID equal node ID. I don't even need to filter with this. I can just do this. That's much simpler. Uh, this is a primary ID. It's auto incremented. And I'm updating the nodes. I'm updating all of the descendants. I will change it, change it, change this to descendant instead of children. Um, so I'm setting the right equal right minus one. The same thing for the left, where left is, uh, where left is between the nodes right and the nodes left and right. So which means I'm updating all of the descendant regardless of the depth. And the last thing, last two things, I'm decreasing the right and left minus two, where right is bigger than the deleted node right, and the same thing for the left. Um, yeah, that's basically the idea. I'm going now to go to dbeva, create the table. I already discussed this table and all of these uh, like methods, the added child and said root three in the previous two videos. So I'm going to call all of these, which gives me, if I go now to the table, I mean, just a bunch of rows, but this is exactly the first example we created, or the first example we worked on, which is this one. Um, yeah, so I just created this exact, exact tree here. I mean, you have to believe me, I guess. <laughs> But you can pause the video and double check me if you want. And the node name B, which has the ID 3, is this one. Okay, because you can see left, left and right is 2, 9 and the same thing here. So I'm going to delete it. And you delete it by calling, first thing I will create this function. 
delete and uplift the children or rename it to delete and uplift descendancies i think that's a better suited name and i'm going to delete the id the node of id3 it ran nice go to the table we should see only one record being deleted which is this one which that's true and the whole thing is fixed now and you see these are the descendants of b and you can see them containing the correct values two three four five six seven two three um uh, sorry two three four five six seven which means we uplift them one level so that's basically the idea so we went now i showed you an, i showed you an introduction then how to add node and create the tree dynamically then how to cut off a branch now how to delete node and uplift the descendancies and then then the next video we will i will show you some common queries we can apply on this nested sets model maybe the video after that i'll show you some benefits or disadvantages of this and that will be it for this uh, yeah bye